Good day, good day everybody. I hope you are fine. Welcome to my channel. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Now we are doing question 10 of mathematics. November November 2024. Maths paper 1. So now, this is question 10. Optimization or sort of, I think. A cyclist wrote from town P. Be careful. Let's underline that. I'm also going to write it down for you guys. Because it's very, very, very important. The person started at town P. So at P, I can just say start. Okay? Now, and stopped at T. And then T, and then what? Finish. It's very important. The speed in kilometers at which the cyclist rode is represented by this equation. So S prime of T, it is equals to 3T squared plus 18T. Is it? The speed is the rate of change in distance with respect to time. So basically when they are saying the speed is the rate of change in distance with respect to time, they basically mean that now. As the speed increases, the, the distance also increases. Now this is the derivatives now. Calculate the maximum speed that the cyclist reached on this right. Derivative. We have to do what? Our differentiation. Okay. Now what does it mean now? Let me just do it here. Since I have it, so s sec prime of say what you call second derivative is just equals to six t plus eighteen, right? But you know that now the second derivative of t must be equals to zero. Six t, what is it gonna be now? Oh, sorry guys, it's negative, cause I was now starting to 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 ask myself why am I gonna have a negative time, which is impossible. Then now I just have t equals to negative 18 over negative 6 is 3. So now, this is the time that it took for the cyclist to reach. Since you have t equals to 3, now I have to find what the maximum speed. To find the maximum speed, I'm just going to substitute this 3 way on that equation that we were given now. So I'm just going to have s prime of what 3 equals to 3, 3 squared plus 18, 3. 3 squared is 9. 9, 18, 27. 27 plus 18 times 3. Blah, 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 blah. What is it now? Guys, why are you not telling me? I am keep on making negative 3 and then 3 squared. Yes. So now, negative 3 times 3 squared. So it is the same as 9 times negative 3, which is what? Um... 3 squared is 9, 9, 18, 27. So now we have to calculate what the value that you have there. Negative 3, 3 squared plus 18, 3, 27. So now the maximum speed it is 27 at kilometers per hour. Great stuff. Now we are fine. Now, um... The second question says, calculate the distance between town P and town P. Okay. Calculate the distance between town P and town T. But now, remember I, I wrote some small important information. Since they want the, the, the distance between these two towns, this is what is going to happen now. I already wrote for you that now, P is where you start, T is where you finish. But now, there's something that we have to check here, guys. This equation that we are given, it is basically what? The derivative of the original equation. So basically, there is what? There is the original function. So basically, we have to find the time that it takes for the cyclist to travel from what? Town P to what? To town T. Do you get what I'm trying to tell you, guys? We have to find the time. How are we going to find that? So now, let S of T to be equals to AT cubed plus BT squared plus CT plus D. Then now, the first derivative of this will be what? 3AT squared plus 2BT plus CT. Right? Because this is a constant, so it is zero. But we are given as the S prime of t to be what? Negative 3t squared plus 18t. 
This means that I'm allowed to say what 3a equals to negative 3 because of these things, right? Because I have this. Now 8 is going to be equals to negative 1. Also, 2b equals to 18. Then b equals to 9. Therefore, my s of t, it is equals to what? Negative t cubed plus 9t squared. I know we still have c of t, but now check something. We can assume that now c it is equals to 0. Why am I saying that? Because it is where at town p. You can now say that now that is where at the starting point at town p. So now which is the initial location? So s of 0 is 0, whereby now c it is equals to 0. To find the time taken, now we have to solve. And you know that for us to solve, this whole thing must be equals to 0. So negative t cubed. Now I have, I have s of t equals to equals to what? Negative t cubed plus 9t squared, right? Now, what am I going to do with this, with, with this thing that I have now? I have to find the time. So now, for me to find the time, I'm just going to find the derivative of this. But now I already have the derivative of that to be what? Negative 3t squared plus 18t, right? So now negative 3t squared plus 18t equals to 0. Factor out. Do you want to factor out t or 3t? Let's factor out what? Um, t. So now what are we going to have now? t and then now what am I having? Negative 3t plus 18 equals to 0. So I have the t equals to 0 or negative 3t plus 18 equals to 0 which makes it t to be what uh, 6 12 18 so now the answer is 6 so now t equals to 0 or t equals to 6 check something at t equals to 0 i can say this is for town p t equals to 6 this is for town t he the cyclist moved from town p at t equals to 0 and arrived at town t at t equals to 6 hey seconds it's fine now, since they want us to find the distance between the, the, the two things now, now let's calculate now S of 6. So what are we going to find now? We are just going to take that original function there. Okay. So now I just have a negative 6 cubed plus 9, 6 squared, which is going to give me 108 kilometers. That's how it is, guys. That is the final answer that you must get. Because they wanted the, the distance. They didn't want the speed. So 108 kilometers, it is the distance. Do you get what I'm trying to say, guys? Hope you understood everything. Thank you very much.